Good. Hey, good to see you. Thanks for coming. What's up? Good morning. You know where we're at. You know where we stay. You know what time it is. Let's do it. <laughs> Pull out the top of the you. Top of the Alrighty, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, we are starting a new series on the channel called the Anza Auto Tech Vlogs, which is why you guys have been seeing a bunch of people go ahead and give us a little bit of an intro. Um, this guy right here, Spencer Tay is the president of the Anza Auto Tech Club. And then we got my homies in the in my group. We got TJ, you guys may have uh, seen him in a few previous videos. And then we got a... Oh, yes. All right, man. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I mean, springs keep the car from slamming, tracks keep the car from separating. No, <laughs> yeah, we are. We're like, oh, what answer is that? So what? What? We, we said it was shocks. What, what, what's the question? Uh, <laughs> what keeps the suspension from uh, extending? Get the shocks. Yeah. Oh, I thought we were talking about the heavy the duty. The heavy yeah, well, I thought someone just had the review right now. The quick yeah. review. So, here's, re here's what made me put that question in. We're here. Yesterday, these guys were taking the coil spring out, and they were trying to pull the shock about off without quiz. supporting the axle. And it was going to really? bang. Uh, <laughs> so, that made me think, well, let's put that question in a quiz today. Flat so, you make them. You make the quizzes. How was the hybrid airbag? So you're gonna put them on properly or what? I'm gonna fall back in the yard. <laughs> so I want you guys to meet somebody very special to all of us in the auto tech program. Thanks, boss. His name is Abdul. Oh. What are you doing? I am. <laughs> should I smile or should I? I think you should smile. It's a ninja. You can put Marty. <laughs> you can do either. Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> so in today's video, uh, our group is gonna go ahead and um, figure out what we're gonna disable or take out an airbag system, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna be taking an airbag system out of a vehicle, um, school it's vehicle. It's gonna be a Subaru. We've never done this before, but that's the point of this class, so we can go ahead and learn how to go ahead and do that. And so right now. Um, what we're doing is actually using uh, this, yeah, this website or not really a website. It's what, what would you say? It's more like a. I mean, yeah, it's a website, but it's more like a software. So it's like a software known as ShopKey Pro that we use here in De Anza Auto Tech, um, and it shows us anything from you know specifications, technical bulletins, component operations, wiring diagrams. It basically has all the information that we could possibly need when it comes to actually servicing vehicles, including book time and how long it would take us. So we're gonna go ahead and figure out how long it's gonna take us to go ahead and disassemble this airbag system on the Subaru. And we will see you guys in just a second. So we got the Subaru in the bay. We don't need to go ahead and put it up on the lift because everything that we're going to be working on is inside the car. But what we did have to go ahead and do is actually go ahead and disconnect the battery um, because we have to go ahead and do that so that the airbag doesn't deploy in our face when we're trying to go ahead and disconnect everything. Then we have to go ahead and wait a few minutes uh, because the air the airbag, sorry, actually does. Um, still have some charge to it even after the battery is disconnected in the event of like if an accident were to happen and the battery gets destroyed the airbag still needs to go ahead and deploy to go ahead and take care of the people who are inside the car um, so on shop key or all data it actually says we have to wait about 60 seconds after we disconnect the battery and then the uh, airbag system will go ahead and be um, disabled right it'll go ahead and be disabled so we only have to wait about 60 seconds but to be honest we're kind of a little skeptical since this is our, this is our first time doing it so we're gonna wait about five minutes before we actually go ahead and start disconnecting stuff on the inside and we will go ahead and show you guys the process of all that. I said we were gonna need some damn hexagon wrench. A hexagon wrench. 
Unfortunately, the module that it's showing us actually already shows that this plate is off though, so we need to figure out how to go ahead and get this thing off uh, before we can even access anything behind it. And obviously, it doesn't work, everything's off, so we don't have to worry about that deploying um, while we're trying to go ahead and take it off. Um, but what I'm guessing is we got these screws back here um, just behind the steering wheel. We're going to go ahead and uh, try to unscrew those and see if it affects anything in the front. So after what felt like a whole hour, um, we were finally able to figure it out, um, get these clips off, and it's finally off. So um, I found that clip. I put it back. That's me the camera. Alrighty, so this is um, what the steering wheel looks like when it's all taken apart. So you guys can see right here. This is where people would typically go ahead and honk the horn. It's got all these sensors and stuff on the back. The nut that holds it in place. All these other little modules. Most cars, like older cars, don't really have stuff like this. So you don't really have to worry about it. Um, but what we have to do now is go ahead and uh, get some more information so we can figure out how to go ahead and disconnect this. Go ahead and show it to our teacher because that's really what we need. The airbag is actually going to be inside this guy. And these are the sensors that let him know when to go ahead and deploy in the case of an accident. Okay, okay. You want to slide it out? I know, I mean it has... Yeah. Pry these yellow things up? Yeah. That's what I'm scared of though, because I don't want this to get all messed up. Yeah. That's it. Same fire up. Boom, there's one. Slide out. You gotta pry them up more? Okay. Slides out. What the? Was it holding nothing? That's good. That's so stupid. It says to slide and they pop right out. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. oh, under this one, you can just. Boom! Rick! It's done! Rick! There it is. Hey, Rick. Airbag. What do those two connectors mean? Those are to let us know when, or those indicate when to deploy. Positive, I mean, yeah, when positive. It has two connectors, what does that tell you about this airbag? It means it has a ground. Uh, 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 yo, like, um, it was like. It's a dual stage. Dual stage, okay. So there's two squibs, two. Two squibs? Right, so it can deploy like a three-way light bulb. Okay. So two. It's two stage airbag. Got it. Low, medium, and high. Got it. Thank you. All right. So now we got to put it back together, which should be pretty easy, right, man? Manny, say hi to the camera, bro. All right. And that's how you do it. I hope I put this on right. So far, I mean, everything feels good. Um, it's just a matter of putting the battery back in and kind of, well, hoping uh, it doesn't blow up. All right, Manny? <laughs> All right, so last step, TJ is now connecting the battery. 
and we're just gonna cross our fingers and hope this thing doesn't blow up in the shop. Alright, hazards are on. I think I accidentally clicked it. Here, put the keys in. Wow. Let's just hope for the best. Keys are in? Yeah. Is it like on the on switch? Yeah, it's on. Oh, wow. Sweet, dude, we're solid. <laughs> All right, we're gonna turn on the car now. Hey. Come on. So the next thing we had to do on uh, our worksheet was actually find out how much weight it takes to go ahead and uh, trigger the airbag system on the passenger side. So that's what we're working on right now. Um, we do get worksheets every day, so it's not so much of like us just doing what we want to do, but we actually get worksheets. Um, I'm gonna show you guys Manny's real quick. So it's like this, we get worksheets. This one had two pages today, and so, the second one is what we're doing right now. Thanks. As of right now, it looks like um, about 30 pounds triggers the airbag to go ahead and um, activate on the right side, but it actually could be less because I actually ended up pushing on it. Um, we found the sensor that triggers you know, the light to go ahead and come on for the airbag. Um, so we're trying to pinpoint exactly how much weight it would take in the passenger seat for it to figure out. So, homie TJ finished filling everything out. Everything is all set and ready to go. Now we get to go ahead and turn those in, get some credit for it. It's been a successful day with the Sub. So Ford actually showed up to our school to go ahead and try to recruit uh, people to go ahead and work for them. What is that? Come on, oh, focus. No. Oh no. Um, and basically Ford showed up to our school to go ahead and try to recruit some of us to go ahead and uh, work for them and they are actually donating two vehicles for us so that we can go ahead and start to learn and work on so that's actually something that's pretty cool but for that I think that's probably going to be the end of this vlog got Ford lover over here I think that's gonna be the end of this vlog so we'll just go ahead and catch you guys on the next time that we have class peace out guys until next time